today for a Daisy Award. Oh, okay. And it's you, Tamika. <laughs> I believe this is our first award here on 2JC. And um, we're very pleased to be here. In case you don't know, Daisy is an award that is in honor of Patrick Barnes. Uh, Patrick Barnes was a young adult who died at an early age of idiopathic thrombocytopenia. And he was hospitalized at Hutchinson Cancer Center out in Seattle. And the family was so touched by the nursing staff and the difference that the nursing staff made in his life at the end of life that they established an award in his honor for exceptional and extraordinary nursing care. And it started out as a small award on the West Coast and has now spread across the nation. And we have been participating for the last two years now. And so you will be joining a long list of nurses here. And I, well, actually, it's a short list <laughs> within a large nursing department here at Iowa. Uh, that is uh, a Daisy honoree. So congratulations. Thank you. And I think somebody is going to read the little bio and nominations. I'll, I'll just read the bio of the nomination. So, okay. I'm not a big public speaker. Um, so Tamika's been a nurse here on 2JCP for seven years now. Um, she started out as a nursing assistant working here six months before graduating and taking an RN position. Um, during that time, she has been driving from Burlington um, back and forth every day, taking classes all while raising two very young, active little guys. Um, she is currently a co-chair for our unit council, which includes organizing and running the meetings and also helping with follow-up. Um, Tamika is a nurse who has pushed for positive change here on the unit, um, even down to reorganizing the bedrooms to make things easier for staff on a day-to-day -day basis. She strives to provide excellent patient care and possesses outstanding clinical skills. Her long-term goal, which is um, what she's currently working on to school again, is to become a pediatric nurse practitioner. She is a true asset to the staff on 2JCP, and myself, along with the rest of the staff on 2J, um, would just like to congratulate you for this wonderful award. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and I have the nomination. Here's Dr. Eve. Here's Dr. Eve. Come on in. We're here. Um, I would like to nominate Tamika Miller, who works on 2JCP for the Daisy Award for Nursing Excellence. On August 17th, my son Clayton had a bone fusion with, with the left toe. Clayton started to breathe abnormally. A mother went to the nurse's station. I, the mother, went to the nurse's station to tell the nurse what was going on. The nurse was Tamika. Tamika and I came back to his room. One of us turned on the light when Clayton stopped breathing. His heart wasn't beating. Tamika started CPR on Clayton. She then started calling for help. By the time the, P the PICU team arrived, um, Tamika had Clayton breathing and a heart beating. Clayton was sent to PICU for three days where he was on a vent and recovered from a seizure in the brain. He came back down to the floor to recover. My son is, is special needs with a rare syndrome and brain injury from birth. This surgery caused his second brain injury. Tamika saved my son's life. She will forever be an angel in my eyes. Clayton is really improving every day. He has beaten the odds. His recovery is, is still thriving. I'm also very thankful for all the nurses, even one nurse that spoke to the doctors when I knew something was physically wrong. I'm so glad nurses listen to parents, especially parents, to special needs children. I feel doctors, especially residents, really need to listen to nurses and to parents because doctors aren't always right. All the nurses pulled a special place in my car, and that's what we brought. No. Tamika brought my son back to us, friends, and most of all, his twin sister. Clay continues to amaze the world. Thank you, Tamika, and the rest of the nurses for what you did. Oh. So we got to a very nice talking. We can go. A Daisy Award has a number of things that come with it. Uh, the bouquet of daisies. Do you want to sit that down because we're going to show you the, the other stuff. You get a um, certificate and a copy of the nomination. And that's in here. Very nice uh, certificate for you. You will get a, there is a um, very nice soapstone sculpture that comes with this. And this, it was commissioned by the Daisy Foundation from Zimbabwe, 
and actually this particular This particular sculpture, uh, all around the country, when nurses get the Daisy Award, and this actually supports a community here in Zimbabwe. So, this is called the Healer's Touch, and there's some information about this on the website. And then uh, there's a Daisy Tote, and your name will go on a national website for all Daisy winners. And there is a big banner that gets right here on the unit. For, uh, oh, oh, for a whole month, letting everybody know that you were a, a, a winner of the Daisy Award. And then the whole staff, we have, um, there's a Daisy pin. Right here. That. And then the inside, there's some cinnamon. Uh, Cinnabon is a national sponsor. Oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> Cinnabon is a national sponsor, but there's no Cinnabons near here. So I think we have a Panera. Actually, <laughs> put it in the Panera box. Oh, okay. Back. Kelowna. Kelowna cinnamon rolls for the whole staff. Because usually when the Daisy Award was given out, uh, the staff said that it wasn't just for them and the, all the staff, and, and they loved uh, cinnamon rolls. Patrick, at the end of his life, the only thing he wanted to eat was cinnamon, so they always brought extra. Great. Well, congratulations. Thank you.